What's happening, lady and gentlemen? So I want to do a quick review here on the old Jivy Airflow adjustable windscreen. I just got it yesterday and I'm testing it out. And the reason I got it was because I uh, I cut my old stock windshield down because it was just too high off-road. I spent at least 50-50 on-road and off-road and just didn't seem safe having a high windshield off-road. So I cut it down and I loved it. But I did kind of miss that protection that I got from the wind on highways going at high speeds, especially when I'm wearing an MX helmet. You don't have a face mask, you just have the goggles. So, did a little research and the Jimmy seemed to be a pretty good alternative. So, it's a super easy install. And, um, I'm testing it out for the first time at high speeds. I'm going to hit a highway here in about a minute or so. But right off the bat, I could say that it's it blocks the wind considerably. Um, I have it down at about halfway. It can still go another, I don't know, a couple of inches up. I don't think I would need that that high. I think this height is going to be pretty good. We'll see. Um, and then I'll show you how it works. It comes. It can go down lower and higher and it can also come off that top piece. So I'll explain that later, but right now I just want to test out what it's like. Also part of the problem is communicating with other riders when the wind is so in your face. Um, but right now I can tell it's awesome. It does an amazing job. Yeah, I'm loving it. So this is a cruising speed of 70 and yeah, I'm six foot tall, six one. Um, and this seems to be a pretty good height. You get a little side wind, but yeah, I think it does its job. Without the windscreen, you know, is communicating on a phone. I have a cardo, so communicating with other riders, or if you do have to make a phone call, it seems so hard without this and without a face mask and wearing an MX helmet. But with this windscreen, yeah, I can see it would be quite easy to do that. And even now, which is very rare in California that we have any rain at all, we have a little bit of mist. So maybe you can see, I'm not sure on the windshield, you can see a little bit of the mist. But uh, yeah, I like it. I think the windscreen is super easy to put on and it doesn't look too bad. But as you can see here, where the camera is mounted on the windshield, the windshield looks like a riot shield, but that's not the case. It's not that ridiculously large and fat looking, and that's just because of the super wide camera right up close to it. Um, it makes it look ridiculous. Stupid and ridiculous. Now you get the hell out of here and you tell that Corleone I'm no band leader. Yeah, I heard that story. Anyway, so yeah, 
it doesn't look ridiculous. It's actually quite nice in size, and I like it. I mean, some people might not dig the style of it. It's got kind of a little bit of a scoop to it, but um, I think it's a good size. I think the Jimmy is a, a good product. So I'm doing 70, 75 right now, and it blocks the wind really nice. I have a MX helmet on and I can talk without the wind just smashing my face. Um, again, I could go a little bit higher, but I don't even think it would make that much of a difference. I could probably even go a little bit lower for highway purposes anyway. I know I could go higher for off-road, but as I mentioned, I don't think the lowest position is low enough. So yeah, there it is, cruising at 75 miles an hour, and Jimmy works really well. So the stock Honda Africa Twin Adventure Sport, I have a 2018, and I'm, I'm, I don't know what the brand new ones are like, but um, I like the screen. It wasn't bad, but it's a little bit high for off-road and you know just thought get getting a you know a sport one because I do a lot of off-roading would be better and I loved it I actually cut it myself you can you can cut your own screen yourself with a jigsaw or a circular saw it cuts perfectly there's no edges or anything like that this polycarbonate um, saw is really nice but that being said, it, uh, I missed having that height. So, you know, this one seems to be doing the trick. So I'm pretty happy with it. Good morning, the world. How are you? Say, hey, don't you know me? This kid is your native son. So it's so simple, the operation on this thing. These little things right here. There's a vertical and a horizontal position, and the vertical is when it's tight. The horizontal, you pull it out, and then you can adjust it. It's a pretty easy uh, operation. The only thing I'd mention is when you buy it, the outside bolt seemed to be, it was a little bit too tight on mine, so moving it up and down was almost impossible, so I just had to take a wrench and loosen these up. Now it worked perfectly. But you can see at high speeds, it works really nice. And it has absolutely no shake. Um, it's extremely sturdy. I did hear from certain other reviewers that it shakes a little bit, but mine's not shaking at all. At least where this height adjustment is at. You know what, I'm going to pull over and I'll put it up a little bit higher and see if there's even any more shake. You know if there's any shake because there really is no shake right now so I have my little thing here I just put it down you pop these up and boom you can just lift it up so that's like another half inch or so that's all it is and uh, yeah you're ready to go so let's see how that is so there you can see I still have about another inch higher I could go but I don't think I would need that, not at my height anyway. So yeah, there's uh, another inch or so I put it up and seems to be doing a really nice job. No shake at all. This is, this is the lower part over here. This is what you screw into your bike, and it, the original Honda Africa Twin 
windshield takes six screws. This only takes four, and it, it's fine. Four is plenty. And then this part is the extender. But, you know, I'm doing 70 miles an hour, and it works nice. There's, I still feel some wind, like in my ears. I'm wearing an MX helmet, you know, with no mask. But if I had my Schubert Touring helmet on with the mask, it would be perfect. But even with this MX helmet, it's very comfortable for long tours. You know, if I'm going to do a BDR and I'm going to ride, you know, a couple hundred miles on the road throughout the long trip, it's nice to have this screen. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh yeah, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it, la, 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 loving it, loving it, loving it. All right. Okay, dokey. So, my friends, I will show you the operation of the old windshield. It's very simple. These are your knobs, uno, dose. So horizontally, you can move it up and down. Vertically locks it. So now it's movable, the old movable feast. And that's the lowest position that you can put it in. And off-road, that's not quite low enough. I mean, if you're doing just gravel roads and stuff like that, you can leave it on, I think. You know, if I do a BDR, a lot of the times you can just leave it just like that. But if you're doing some more, you know, Gnarls Barkley stuff, you just pop it off. That's it. And then this is your bottom piece. You just leave that on. Um, so when you get it, it comes in these two pieces, Uno El Dossier, and then you've got four bolts that's it these come with your bike so you they don't come with screws actually you have to use the one that are on your bike um, Africa twin uh, windshield comes with six bolts so there's one here and one there this only requires four so you've got the two extras uh, the other thing I was mentioning is just be careful with these rubber bolts over here because when you do screw them in to or take the other ones out they pop out sometimes and they fall and they fall inside your fairing here and even though I knew it could happen and was really careful one fell in there and it was like sayonara ski so thankfully I have six so I only needed four so I didn't need that other one but if I want to put the other windshield on I will so anyway yeah this is your bottom piece for off-roading and I thought well what am I gonna do with the old windshield when I'm off-road the reason I got it is so I can have it high speeds on the way to off-road stuff so uh, if you do want to take it off my suggestion is this I have an old motorcycle you know cover that came with my helmet and I never use it so BAM there you go just like that I have a Soluciones um, and then what you can do is, if you don't have one of these nets, I highly suggest it. They're super usable. I think I paid 15 bucks on Amazon. Just look up motorcycle net, 15 bucks, or it's under 20 bucks. Um, and then you just shove your, you know, your um, thing there when you're off road. Now, if you've got saddlebags and some and a duffel bag on top, you can put this, you know, your duffel bag over this. You can turn it sideways so the, the you know you can turn it like this. Um, so because you know now you've got the the curvature in the in the thing, shove it in there, and you can put your bag right above it, or you can put this over your bag, whatever way you want to do it. But it it does work, you know, with this with your any kind of motorcycle bag, kind of perfect size for it. Um, but it just goes to show you how easy it is to adjust. Um, carry that puppy with me and then you want to put it back on 
and it's very simple. I'll line it up, and bam, bam ski. Um, yeah, it could fit any any height rider, and um, I feel it's super stable. So that's it, man. The old Givy or Jivy or Schmivy, the way for where you want to pronounce it. I hope you enjoyed the little review of the Jivy Airflow Adjustable. It is a keeper for Shiznik. So ride safe, my brethren, and peace out.